Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Let's talk about multi-timbral instruments and specifically setting them up in a way that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to use UVI Workstation. Now, if you grab a instrument from the browser, you right click in this in the TCP area and choose um, insert virtual instrument on new track, it will give you the option of loading in multiple audio tracks to go along with this. I will do all the routing for you and everything. Click yes. And now we've got track for the plugin, and then we have uh, 16 tracks for the 32 outputs of this instrument. And all the sends are set up here. The one problem with this is that all of our MIDI has to go on this one track. For the 16 instruments that we're going to load into UVI Workstation, we have to write all of the MIDI on one item. And that's a real pain to manage. We could set up 16 MIDI tracks and send it into this. Open up the effects chain, right click, and then build 16 channels of MIDI routing to this track. Click that. And now, just with one plugin, we're up to 34 tracks, which is a lot. It's way too much. We haven't even put in a note yet and we're already up to 34 tracks, and the session is already a bit of a mess. Using the track manager, we can hide the MIDI tracks from the mixer control panel, like that, our 16 tracks MIDI, and we can hide our audio tracks, like this. So now we have track for the plugin, and then we have MIDI tracks here, and in the mixer, we're only hearing the audio outputs from the plugin. This is a pretty good system. This will work pretty well. The only thing I would do in addition to this is to add in uh, a track for a folder. So we'll, I don't know, we'll call this synth. And then make these tracks a folder. So this situation works pretty well. We have our MIDI tracks, we have our audio tracks. When we get into mixing, we're going to have to start bringing these tracks back into the arrange view so we can do automation. That convenience of having only the MIDI tracks for recording into there and then all the tracks for mixing in the mixer, yeah, that kind of goes away once we start automating stuff. So again, our session looks really big and it starts to look cluttered. So let's delete all these tracks. So what I've set up is a track template that will, well, I actually have two set up. One is for um, five parts with UVI workstation and another for 16 parts. Let's do the simpler one, the five part one. And if we look in the track manager, this is only the UVI workstation track, which is our folder, the plugin track, which contains the plugin and the audio sends from the plugin into the audio tracks. And then on these tracks, parts one to part five, they send MIDI back to the plugin track. And there's a trick to doing that. You won't be able to do that without creating a feedback loop. We're actually disabled the audio send on these tracks and only sending MIDI. And each one of these tracks is sending on a different MIDI channel. So if I record on track five, and we look in here, we're seeing MIDI input here, track three, seeing MIDI input here. So uh, all these tracks are set to record any channel, and it's going to use the send to convert it into the part number in UVI Workstation. So the trick to making that feedback loop is opening up our project settings, and here, allow feedback in routing can result in lower performance and loud noises. I'll load in a sound. So audio one, or part one here. So I'm sending MIDI out of this track and receiving audio back to the same track, which is super convenient. So now I can record on these just five tracks and get five tracks of audio back in the same place. We can automate on these tracks. You don't have to hide anything and show things later. This is a great way of working with multi-timbral instruments. Uh, I set up another version of this for 16 tracks. 
and it looks just like this. Because I've saved this track template with no instruments loaded, it was actually really, really fast to load. And um, I've already set up my audio outputs here in UVI Workstation. So main out up to track six, or output 16. So if you're working with UVI Workstation or Contact, Sample Tank, or any of the other big virtual instruments that contain sample libraries and things like that, you might want to try out this workflow. There may be a performance trade-off. There may be some sort of thing you run into eventually, but for me, this is a lot more intuitive. I can record on these 16 parts and it's just a lot more immediate to get things going. So that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.